Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear force and bending moment diagram. So in this lecture we are going to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. This is the overhanging beam with different loads on this beam. Two pointed load of 5 kN acting on this simply supported case length and there is a distributed load of 3 kN per meter over the distance of 6 meter. So this load acts only at one hanging portion of the beam while the other hanging portion is, has no load. So first to draw the shear, first to find out the support reactions. Let us consider this is support A and this is support B and they will have the upward resistance to this upcoming load. So it will be RA and this will be RB. If there is no horizontal load, so only reactions are upward. Now to find out the support reactions, let's consider the summation of moment at point B equal to zero. And the clockwise moment is taken as positive, while the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. We can also find out the support reactions by three equilibrium equation, summation of y equal to zero and summation of f f f x equal to zero. Summation of horizontal forces, vertical forces are the moment by the help of these three equations we can find out the support reactions. But here we can see that there are no horizontal force so we cannot use this equation to find out the support reactions. Similarly, we have two unknowns so we also cannot use this equation to find out the support reactions. The only way to find out the support reactions if we have two unknown in our beam is the summation of moment at any point equal to zero. So in this case we take we took summation of moment at point B equal to zero and let's suppose the clockwise moment is positive and the anticlockwise is negative. Now so all the moments at point B equal to zero let's start from this point. This 3 kN per meter is distributed over the length of 3 meter and this will create the anticlockwise moment about point B. As this load is acting downward, so it will create anticlockwise moment. So 3 anticlock will be negative. 3 into 6 is the distributed length multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm for this load will be the half of 3, half of 6 which is 3 and this whole distance up to point B. So this is 12, 4, 4, 4 is 12 and half of this 6 because this load will act at this point. If we convert into concentrated load, this is a distributed load. So this distance from this point will be this 12 plus 3, half of 6, so it will be 15. So this whole distance from this point up to point B will be 15. So this will be the moment term for this concentrated load. So this is anticlockwise in direction. Now the RA is clockwise about point B. It creates clockwise moment about point B. So plus RA multiply with the moment arm. Moment arm for the RA is this distance which is 12 meter. And this 5 kN and 5 kN are anticlockwise in direction. They are creating anticlockwise moment about point B. So this minus 5 multiply with the moment arm is 8 and this minus 5 multiply with the 4 because the moment arm for this load is 4 equal to 0. So summation of all moment at point B equal to 0. Now if you move all these values into the right side and just place this value on the left side. So we found out it to be 40 plus 20 plus 270. And to be to make it more simplify it comes out to be 330 and then dividing it by 12 so we get 27.5 kilonewton so this is our support reactions at point A or we can say the support reactions of A of RA is 27.5 kilonewton now how to find the RB? Now we can use this equation because we have only one unknown. So now we will use this equation. Summation of all vertical forces is equal to zero. 
and let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So RA and RB are acting in upward direction so it will be positive and all the upcoming loads are acting in downward direction so they will be taken as negative. So minus 5, minus 5 and minus 3 multiply with 6 because this 6 is just this distance for which this load is distributed. So summation of all vertical forces are equal to 0. Now to find the RB, we will move all these values to the right side. So it will be plus 5, plus 5 and plus 18 minus RA and RA value is 27.5. We know this. So it comes out to be 10 plus 18 minus 27.5 and this RB comes out to be 0.5 kilonewton. So here is 0.5 kilonewton. It means that the whole load is almost the whole load is being taken by this support A which is a hinge support. Now come to the free body diagram so we can draw a free body diagram and then we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram from this free body diagram. Let's this the beam is the overhanging beam with the two supports hinge and roll support and this is a distributed load then there is a pointed load pointed load 5 kilonewton and 5 kilonewton and here we have reaction of 27.5 here we also have reaction of 0.5 kN and here we have load of 3 kN per meter. In free body diagram we usually don't draw the these supports. So we can remove the supports and we can simply draw the upward reactions which are the force values. So this, this is our free body diagram for this beam. Now we will draw the shear force diagram from this free body diagram. So this is the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and this will be the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So these were the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment. Now we also know all these distances because these distances are important in drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram. So starting from this point this distance is 6 meter we know this 6 meter this is 4 meter this is 4 meter this is 4 meter and this is 5 meter distance. Now this distributed load x over a distance of 6 meter so we will multiply this 3 with the 6. So multiplying the 3 with 6 we got 18 but this load x in downward direction so it will be negative 18. So starting from this 0 point this is a 0 0 reference line for the shear force. So negative 18 so it will comes here minus 18. Now there is a load acting upward this 27.5 in upper direction so minus, minus 18 was acting downward and this is acting upward so minus minus 18 adding with plus 27.5 because plus 27.5 is acting in upper direction so we got here 9.5 so we will draw this into plus 9.5 A plus 9.5 kilonewton. Now there is no load on this beam here at this portion so we will draw a straight line. There is a load of 5 kilonewton acting downward so we will again subtract the 5 from the mine from the 9.5 subtracting the 5 from 9.5 we got plus 4.5 so this is plus 4.5. Now there is again no load in this beam so no load and then there is again load of 5 kilonewton acting downward so it will be subtracted from this 4.5 so if we subtract the 
4.5 from minus 5 we get minus 0.5 so minus 0.5 means it will come in negative direction minus 0.5 and then there is no load here no load and then plus point here is again 0.5 kilonewton so we are acting in upper direction so we will move it in upper direction and then there is no load on this beam here so it will be like a straight line with a zero shear force so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now to draw the bending moment diagram we will take help from this shear force diagram we will find the area of the shear force boxes and they will give us the bending moment values now we know this is a triangle this is a triangle the height is 18 and this the base length is 6 meter so the area of this box will be a1 is the half base into height or half base is 6 and height is 18 it comes out to be minus 54 why minus because this box was below the zero zero reference line so it is a negative box of the shear force and this is positive box this is positive box this is again negative box so negative box will create the negative moment so it is minus 54 moment starting from here zero and zero reference so it is minus 54 this minus 54 kilonewton meter is the moment at this point now this box is a positive so we will add this to this minus 54 what is the area of this box it is a rectangle this and height is plus 9.5 and the distance is 4 meter so this is a rectangle so we will just multiply this 4 with the 9.5 4 is this length and height is 9.5 so the area of the second box will be Thirty-eight, so it is thirty-eight, and it is acting upwards. So it is a positive, so it is plus thirty-eight. So by adding the minus fifty-four with plus thirty-eight, we got minus sixteen. So minus sixteen will be here at this point. Minus sixteen. Now this box is again positive, so it will be added to this minus sixteen. What is the area of this rectangle box? A height is 4.5 and the, this distance is 4 meter. So 4.5 into 4. So we will multiply the area of the third box. A3. 4.5 into 4. We got 18. So it is a positive box. So it will be added to this minus 16. If we add minus 16 with the plus 18, we got 2. So 2 is plus 2. So it will be in upper direction from the reference line so it is a plus 2 now what is the area of this box this small box the height is minus 0.5 and this distance is 4 meter so defining the area of this box will be a4 so if I found out the area of a4 box it is 0.5 negative multiply with the 4 so we got minus 2 so if we add this minus 2 with plus 2 we got 0 here and here this is no box this is no shear force there is no shear force so this there will be no bending moment so it will be also a straight line with a zero zero so this is the sh shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam simply first to find out the support reactions and then drawing the shear force and then with the help of shear force we can find out the values of the bending moment always kept in mind that the bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram let's suppose this is a linear line of one degree so it is a parabola line parabolic line of two degree similarly this is a shear force line, horizontal line of zero degree so it will be a one degree linear linear line this is a zero degree line so it is a one degree line linear it is also zero degree line so it is a linear line of one degree so it means bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching our video.